Good morning, and may peace be unto all of you. My name is Juliana Stratton. I use she, her pronouns. And what an honor it is to join you this beautiful Saturday morning with all of the distinguished guests which have already been acknowledged, and of course, which, with each and every one of you. Thank you, Rima, for that warm introduction and for your steadfast leadership as treasurer and co-founder of the Muslim Civic Coalition. I also want to take a moment to thank board chair, Arshia Ali Khan, president and my friend, Dr. Dalara Saeed, and the entire team at the Muslim Civic Coalition, not only for bringing us together today, but for your commitment to equity and justice every single day. Your passion and dedication for advocacy and the collaborations that you have built with partners and allies brought us to this exciting moment. 2022 will be remembered as a year of first for the Muslim community, for all of Illinois and beyond. You see, when we build the groundwork to raise up voices that have long been unseen, unheard, or ignored, everyone is lifted up. We know discrimination and inequality can take so much away from communities, so how can we contribute to fill the gaps and also pave the way for a better world for all. This year, the Muslim Civic Coalition and visionary leaders in Illinois' Muslim community have done incredible work to answer that question. I had the honor and privilege, as you just heard, of joining many of you in this room in celebrating the first ever Muhammad Ali Day in 2022. And we reflected on how he and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. have inspired us in the journey for justice, how we can take their work further. Your efforts in passing legislation have helped ensure that we hold space to honor the change makers who made their mark on history. So future generations will continue to learn from their strides and take on the reins. This extends from Muhammad Ali Day to legislation that guarantees the history and contributions of Muslims in America and people of all diverse faiths have a place in inclusive school curriculum. Everyone deserves to learn about the individuals who have made their mark on this country, especially young people searching for stories, perspectives, and backgrounds similar to their own. And thanks to the historic report on Illinois Muslims, we can shine a light on how vital the community, this community is to this state right now. We are proud to be home to the highest per capita population of American Muslims. And as this report illuminates the needs of the community, we are committed to digging in to find solutions for it to thrive. There's certainly more work to do and we need insightful leaders who will stand up to push us forward. We need voices from the Muslim community in the rooms where decisions are being made. And that's why I would like to take a moment to acknowledge two new leaders who are breaking boundaries and played a part in forming the most diverse state legislature we have ever had by answering the call to service. Congratulations, and I am going to ask you to stand. First, to State Representative-elect Nabila Syed. And congratulations to State Representative-elect Abdul Nasser Rashid. Congratulations to both of you for making history as the first Muslims elected in the Illinois General Assembly. And I can't wait to see the history that you will continue to make in these roles. As I close, I want to extend regrets on behalf of Illinois State Treasurer Michael Frerichs, who had a family emergency. He very much wanted to be here today, but is unable to join us. But please know that his heart is with you. And I want to again thank everyone who had a hand in making this a year to remember. Really, the accomplishments made this year by the Muslim Civic Coalition and its allies marks a turning point. A new chapter is being written 
And the state of Illinois stands with our Muslim community to keep building the future that we all want to see. Blessings and abundant peace to you all. And thank you so much for having me.